Hey there, YouTubers. Thank you for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to talk about a VBA exclusive function called Date Diff. Uh, similar to the Date Add. In Date Add, our last lesson, we learned that we could add an whatever number of months or seconds or hours or days or quarters even or a certain number of years to a date and it would affect that date or that time. Um, in this one we're going to figure out the difference between two dates or two times in seconds in minutes in hours in years same thing in quarters so we're going to take a few examples here uh, just really quick date one and date two and um, so let's get started how do we get started alt f11 to our visual basics editor so I'm gonna to go to the latest greatest module really doesn't matter um, so I'm going to make some room here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and make a new module. See how to do that. So click on the drop down, click module. Now we have a fresh, clean slate here. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. First of all, sub. And what's the name of this particular macro? We're going to say test uh, date diff. We'll just test the date diff function. It's quite simple. So we need to set up our date. How about date one equals um, in this particular worksheet that we're working on we could just use the brackets if we knew we were going to be on this worksheet so we got B4 and B5 so date 1 is B4 and date 2 equals B5 so that was pretty simple that's F8 F8 so we're debugging now one line at a time that's empty okay so it shows at the correct date and F8 F8 so our dates worked just fine let's move on we're going to use the date diff. Let's find the difference in, let's say, quarters. So, how many quarters difference are they? Okay, so I'll just say quarters difference. And now we'll do it. Let's lock that into a variable, and we can shove it in a cell later if we feel like it, or a message box, or a screen tip, or whatever. But uh, let's just call it uh, answer. Answer equals date diff maybe we need two F's yes date diff with two F's excuse me so the first thing we need is our interval uh, and that is going to be either um, M for months N for minutes um, there's a whole sheet that we showed last time and um, I'll probably put that in the description here but you can do Q for quarters that's what we're going to want to know the interval between so you put that as a string meaning in quotes um, date 1, what was that? Well, actually we named it Date 1, conveniently enough. And Date 2, as you can see above, we named Date 2. You could put any variable or even put the date in quotes like this, 1-1-2013. One, one, but we're going to undo that, Control z uh, Then you go to Date 2, the first day of the week, blah, blah, blah. You notice that's in these square brackets. That means that that's optional. And so is this first week of year thing here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and in parentheses and we're going to try that out. So I'm going to F8, F8, F8. We know that these dates work just fine. But now we're finding the difference in quarters between date 1, which is that date, and date 2, which is that date. So what's the answer? It's empty right now. If I hit F8, it just calculated there are 12 quarters. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I wonder how many minutes in between this date and that date. Oh my gosh, you mean it can calculate that? Let's see. Hit F8 answer is oh, 37 minutes that doesn't sound right oh excuse me M is months it's 37 months N is minutes oddly enough let's see if I can calculate how many minutes between those two dates yes it can apparently there are 1 million six hundred forty one hundred and sixty minutes between 1 1 2013 and 2 14 and of Valentine's Day of 2016 Wow who would ever need to know how many minutes are that I don't know, but why not, you know? How about how many seconds? Let's see, how many seconds between those two dates? Hit F8. A whole bunch. Uh, 98 million and some change of seconds. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, wow, this is a, as you can see, this is pretty powerful. How about in, let's see, we already did months. We got quarters. We have uh, weeks. It's WW. So let's do that. How many weeks in between? 163 weeks. How many weekdays? Yeah, you heard me. Uh, if I 
just the letter W, that's how many weekdays, so how many Monday through Fridays between. Now that would be useful for office staff. How about HR, somebody working office staff, right? 162, how many regular days, not Monday through Friday weekdays? So it won't be 162, it'll probably be a little more. It is. So, uh, what was that? W mean weekends or weekdays? You'll have to play around with that. Somebody Google that. Anyway, um, so you got minutes, seconds, uh, you can see how many hours by typing the letter H. Okay, uh, I think years, or it might be four Y's, I'm not sure. Let's see, Y, 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 Y. I wonder if that does anything different. Yeah, it's definitely not 100. Or 1,139 years should say yeah three three years so uh, that is pretty powerful and uh, you know obviously you can do anything you want with that if you wanted to calculate how many years between or how you know how many days until this well that's pretty easy you could take date two minus date one and get that but for other things that are harder to calculate this is powerful guys so you can calculate the difference in whatever time frame that you want by putting that in uh, quotations here and just put date one and date two and again you can put the dates in as a serial number like uh, 40824 whatever date that is or you could put it in this date format uh, in quotations quote one slash one slash 2013 end quote or you can put it in a variable trapped as a date format like this so extremely powerful oh same thing with time of course of course uh, if you had times let's uh, let's try that I don't want to I don't want to miss out on that so let's just do 2 p.m. until um, 6 uh, 47 uh, a.m. Or yeah, PM. PM. Let's try that first here. So we'll go back to our Visual Basic thing, and I know it's not really date one, but it, you can include times in that. So let's hit F8, F8. So we have our okay. So 0.58. Why does it say that instead of 2 PM? Actually, that's correct. Um, 2 PM is 0.583 repeating percent. Uh, it's 0.58 of the day. If one day is, if a day is one, then it's 58% of the day is done at by 2 p.m. So that's the way Excel does dates. And by 6:47 p.m., it's this decimal through the day. So obviously 24 or you know midnight would be one, and then like 12 p.m. would be 0.5. So it's halfway through the day. That's how that works. Uh, so anyway, let's find the difference in seconds between these two times. Okay, and hit F8. So it looks like there is quite a few seconds. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting. I don't know if that's accurate. Let's do how many how many minutes. And it may be that we don't need to. 287 minutes. Let's see, is that right? Anyway, um, as you can see, uh, it calculates the difference between uh, minutes or hours or whatnot. And actually, that sounds right. So, um, everybody, play around with that date diff. If you work with dates and times, it is essential for you to be able to calculate the difference between one or the other. So, thanks for watching.